Hi, I'm Harry Legg from New Jersey Tai Chi, along with Paul Shansky, one of our other instructors. We were going to be outdoors today. It's a beautiful sunny day, but it is just a little too cold. So we came indoors with our students who have just left after a, a great morning of training. What are one of the ways that you learn sensitivity in Tai Chi? Typically, it's through push hands. And when people are pushing hands, it looks like this most frequently. And it turns into being all about the limbs and not about the body. And it turns into wrestling and, and all sorts of things that eh, really aren't good for Tai Chi. So we teach Clear's internal push hands, which has you standing in your Wuji posture like this in front of each other with hands on each other, feeling inside. We're not getting all pushy, shovey. I feel his shoulders are tight, so I can move him through his shoulders. He reaches into me. What's tight on me, Paul? Feel something that might be tight and call it out. Shoulders. Shoulders. He got me on my shoulders. I'll reach into Paul. I can, I'm feeling into him and he may not be aware that, oh, his ankles are tight. And I moved him from down below in his ankles. Even though my hands are up here, you learn how to feel throughout someone's entire body, which helps you feel inside your body for health. And there is martial application to it. So if you'd like to learn this sort of stuff, Reach out to us at New Jersey Tai Chi. You've got us here on Facebook, NewJerseyTaiChi.com. Also, finally, everyone seems to be getting vaccinated. That's good news. The first weekend of June, we have our big Tai Chi gathering event at Clear Tai Chi headquarters uh, just outside Knoxville, Tennessee. And it's for everyone, regardless of what style you practice or what lineage you come from, or if you're brand new to Tai Chi. You can find out info for that at Tai Chi Gathering. Dot com and Tai Chi, T A I C H I, the simple way of spelling it, Tai Chi Gathering.com. All right, see you again soon. Bye bye.